Hey guys, it's Alex from Sporty Afros. So I am doing a quick YouTube video on a book that I'm currently reading and doing a four week challenge. It is uh, Grain Brain. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but I am, oh, it's raining outside. Oh, nice. Um, but I am really enjoying this book. I've been flipping in and out of it, um, the paperback version and also Audible. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this was that a uh, popular book, Wheat Belly, I listened to probably about two or three months ago. So when I got the opportunity to read Grain Brain, I was already fueled with knowledge about wheat. This book, um, so far that I can say, really goes into more about wheat, carbs, and sugar, but the effect on brain. Um, so far I can honestly, it does take some points out of Wheat Belly, which was really good because again, I've already read it. So it was kind of a reminder to show some similarities. Um, but Wheat Belly often really focuses on just specifically wheat. Um, and also the abdominal section, thus the name Wheat Belly. This grain brain discusses all grains. I'm right now I'm in sugar. Uh, sugar is really eye-opening. That So far the chapter is really eye-opening about sugar and carbs. Um, so it goes way in depth, but it is focusing about the effects of wheat sugar carbs on your brain and i think that is really interesting to stop and think about how what you eat affects your brain even if you don't feel it directly but what is actually going on inside and what signals your brain um is giving off one of the things that i forgot and i think often many people forget is that um with the low fat um or low carb diets that around your brain fuels off of fat. It is 70% fat. So when a lot of people decrease the amount of fat that they're intaking to drastic levels, they begin to feel sluggish, they can't think right. There are so many different issues that um, comes about. So this goes into detail and actually makes a case for why fat is good for you um, of course it differentiates between the different fats such as good fats bad fats and what i consider um, man-made fats so um a little bit about the author um he has had several books including the better brain book raise a smarter child by kindergarten and power up books so i like the fact that he, before this um he also has had several different other books dr david uh Pirmillo. um so the basis about the book i can honestly say grain brain really is about um a lifestyle change that you can totally change um in your life to make your brain healthy so um some of the things let me just go over i have my paper so i can remember a few things but in the four week plan that i'm gonna do i let me pause and say i started about two to three days before because like i said i've actually i was reading and listening to the book i have audible so i listened to the book um on my way into work or outside of work or wherever or even working out um, but I started just to kind of get myself acclimate, acclimated into what was going to happen. Um, so I've already been, uh, I haven't had any major grains. I've been quote unquote gluten free. Um, and I really am surprised at the way that my body is taking it um, thus far with just a few days. So I'm looking forward to officially starting off. So what's happening on the four week plan? Um, it's going to shift my body away from relying on carbs 
for fuel and adding brain healthy supplements and I'll show you supplements in a second incorporating the fitness routine I'm already up and I work out from 6 to 7 that's my time reading magazines catching up on the news whatever I'm doing so that's good that it's encouraging with that and I will consistently keep that in the forefront of my mind um, the next thing, getting restful and routine sleep seven days a week. I think that is the biggest deal um, that I like is I'm going to be challenged to be very consistent and getting restful sleep seven days a week. There's a difference between laying in the bed, um, having your cell phone there, looking at Instagram pictures, liking everything, all of those kinds of things every single day. So. And you're laying in the bed, next thing you know, an hour passes by and then you finally try to attempt to go to bed. So I think that's really a focal point that I'm going to make every night for me. And I'm glad that I'll be challenged to it. And also the last thing, establishing a new rhythm to maintain these healthy habits. So again, it's just about keeping a routine um, and being focused on it. So I am really excited about it. Some of the supplements and a couple of two things I really like about the, I don't want to say diet, but the guideline of grain brain is the fact that they recommend chocolate. Yes, uh, I, you guys follow me on Instagram at Alexandria Will. If not, it'll be down in the link below. But you know I love chocolate and Trader Joe's. So I have the 85% um, that's kind of have and the ingredients the only thing bad about it I'm sorry but it was coke it does have soy lectins in it and natural vanilla flavor this is the closest I could get to it so you just have to you know give me a little bit and you can have wine mm -hmm red wine to be quite honest so i'm very very happy those two things i think i could give up anything but those two things are included i am a-okay um some supplements that i will be taking along with it one of those are like kind of food supplements so i'll get to that in a second but definitely they recommend fish oil again it is all about increasing your fat um, and making that your fuel because um, I'm not going to give away the book but once uh, I'll do another video and another um, another summary of the book once I'm fully finished and at the end of my four weeks so then I'll go more into detail but it I'm pretty much fueling myself once again with fat and giving that is the fuel that my brain feeds off of so in order to make my body work better, I need to feed my brain what it needs outside of sleep and all these other things the book talks about. So definitely fish oil. And I like the fact that um, this particular brand is fairly affordable and can be found anywhere. Um, I will put up, we have an Amazon store, so I'll add these on there. So you guys can see it. But one thing again, as you as you know, I'm proponent about is reading your labels. This contain this is gluten free food. No trans fats, no yeast, no starch, no sodium, no lead. Purified to remove mercury. So please, even if you don't get this kind, whatever, if you have your own fish oil, please read the labels. I'm gonna choose this one because this is what they gave me. Um, also, Brain Strong, um, this is Power by Life's DHA, it is adult. I'm all about clinically shown to improve me memory, supports mental clarity, helps protects against normal cognitive decline as we age. I'm all about this. This is if, for all of my vegetarians, pescatarians, or um, I don't want to say vegans, but on those who do not eat fish um the book goes into it but if you're not i would highly um recommend having definitely a, a supplement of fish oil or a brain strong if not um this isn't too bad it has a couple other ingredients i'm not so 
okay with, but I, I'm pretty sure after looking at it in more detail, it's okay. So anyway, it just gives me the healthy fatty acid. But since I'm eating fish now, I think I'm gonna be okay. And um, this is by, oh, I'm sorry. I think I said this when I'm gonna say it again. Brainstorm Power by Life DHA. I'll put it again in the link below. This is by GNC. Um, and I don't wanna mess up the name. So what this is, is clinically shown to enhance blood vessel dilation and support healthy blood flow, which is important for cardiovascular health. Um, Resvita. I believe that's the name of this. Um, oh I had to figure out what it was called. Uh, resveratrol, which in here, um, pretty much that supplement is found in red wine. And to give you more specifics on that supplement, um, it's health benefits of red wine, which I talked about, resveratrol, a powerful antioxidant that helps to prevent free radical damage. Um, resvita is the purest form of re trans resveratrol, um, and it can only be found at GNC. So that's what that one is about. I don't know if I'm gonna go overboard with the red wine and that, but we'll see. Uh, anyway. So one of the cool things I really like about so far um, about it is that it makes sense. Like <laughs> that's the cool thing thus far. A lot of what the book talks about, it's it makes sense and it makes you stop and rethink about what you're eating, why you're eating it and what really is it that you're eating so it's not a let me just go ahead and say it is not paleo it is not bashing vegans or vegetarians or whatever terry you want to be um there is anything pretty much for anyone um, i think it's really important to know and this is a personal belief that I have and I've adapted the last couple months is to be plant-based so this is plant-based meaning that this this lifestyle this diet you will eat a lot of vegetables specifically green ones which kale is one of them as you guys know I love kale um, but multiple vegetables all day every day uh, if there is a diet that you want to go towards gluten-free, however, you are not going to eat gluten-free breads, gluten-free grain. You're not going to consistently go towards a gluten-free pizza all uh, every single day for lunch or even a gluten-free sandwich. So those are not options. That's kind of the, um, that's not really plant-based. And so that's moving away, you know, as many vegetarians have, oh, well, I'm a vegetarian, so I can eat Doritos. Well, that's not really healthy for you just because it's quote unquote vegetarian. So it's, I wanted to say it is plant-based. So if you do not like vegetables, pick and choose which vegetables you like. We have recipes online and stick with them. Or it's a good time to experiment. Uh, the last thing they do recommend on your eggs, um, I'm going to look back down here. Golden Circle Farms DHA Omega-3 cage-free eggs. See, I had to look at that for that. Um, these the DHA eggs offer 100 per serving and come from hens that are never confined to cages. Um, and they continue, you know, antibodies, no hormones, all that stuff. So... I am personally not going to use those eggs um, for a couple of reasons. I started before, that's one. Two, you guys know I'm a huge proponent about being local um, and pretty much grabbing things off the farm as much as I can. Um, even though I don't have a farm, I have farmers. So the eggs that I am currently using, um, these are local here in Texas. 
um alfresco farms okay because people are gonna ask me i got these at natural grocers um natural grocers around the country um always uses very very high natural products so pretty much i get my eggs from there these are expensive i'm not going to kid you and tell you that these eggs are not expensive my eggs normally cost me now five dollars before i knew any better my eggs did cost about a dollar fifty um and then i thought it was special in getting the brown eggs however i've learned um the difference the reason why these are pa pasture raised um that means and they give you a little in every egg they give you a bulletin about where it com comes from um these are certified huma humane raised and handled which is pretty the pretty much the highest that at this point in time and uh, raising chickens can be um they are not all vegetarians because i learned from bex life who has her own um chickens in her backyard she calls them her backyard chickens all about what happens on eggs what's to look like uh what to look at sorry but she says that eggs i mean um not eggs i need some fish oil so she Jesus, had a think. graphic that described that really um and pinpoints that chickens are not vegetarians naturally they eat bugs and critters around um and they go in the wild in the grass and that's how they are so this is what pasture raised eggs means that's the way that the chickens are raised they are on a pasture out by themselves it's not a whole bunch of them cooped up together there are no cages they eat their own wildlife um and they have a humane process and they are local no um the cool thing about it if you ever get local eggs well this one this bunch is different but normally they're different shades which is really cool um i'll try to take pictures i don't know if you guys can see it because my lighting is off i try to take pictures of them on my instagram the next time but when you get real eggs they're not all brown and perfect and the same size they um taste very different <laughs> that is the deal i used to do now, like i eat the whole egg and i don't just do whites only i don't just do yolks only i do eat the whole egg um with a little olive oil and that's pretty much it um now in sauteed seasoning all that stuff but uh it's very different than the flavor the taste the digestion um and the color some of them are really really pale um light brown some are even blue green and no they're not dyed no there's not anything wrong that's just the way that they naturally are so sorry about my rant on eggs Bex life i hope you're proud of me i learned something from you um if you do watch this anyway i, I would just want to share that knowledge because most people do not know so uh you can follow me on instagram i will be instagramming up and a few tweets here and there about what i'm doing what it looks like what my meals look any questions like, definitely have ask me if you want to join along in it there's hashtags that i'll put down below in the link Feel free to join along um, and have, see you guys in about four weeks. Okay, thanks.